So there's the uh, trail coming out of uh, Goose Lake. Uh, that road goes up to the uh, highway. We walk down this section of the trail here. And uh, this takes us all the way to Twin Lakes. Looking back at the lake and uh, back over here on the trail. I've uh, done a bit of work on the trail here just uh, you know tried to you know tried to do a few spots there where trees have come down and uh, clear it. For those that are using dolly systems remember the more the weight the better the dolly system you need. If you're carrying three to four days worth of supplies, that kind of weight requires a decent dolly. The trail's not that bad. It's in pretty good shape. So it, uh, like I say, you climb a few hundred feet, but it's an easy climb. This is a, our little canoe rest uh, area here. And, uh, uh, we've got a, another kilometer or so to go, One, probably 1.2 I think, but it's a good hike. There's a couple of short climbs ahead, but this is a little bit longer steep climb here. And it's quite pretty down, uh, you got the, the creek running, it's early in the year. So. And here's one of the bridges that we uh, cross here. It's a uh, big improvement over the early days. Uh, the original trail, one of the other bridges that they constructed here. So we're just getting, uh, I think, pretty close to the uh, Twin Lakes uh, launch here. We're heading down the uh, small hill down to the uh, launch site here, and uh, we'll get a good idea what shape it's in. And here we are. As one lady called it, it's Lake Muck Muck, but we got high water and not so bad. Looking straight ahead there, uh, the water's quite high. And uh, you'll probably take your wheels off here and just carry the canoes and kayaks. Just, uh, I would say the best uh, spot is just up on the left. Yeah, looking up the channel there, toward the end. I'm uh, doing a satellite image of the two ponds that lead into uh, Twin Lakes. So you see where my cursor arrow is there? That is your uh, portage trail from Goose Lake up to the uh, Twin Lake ponds. You're going to enter right about there. You're going to paddle about 300 yards up this pond and then you're going to pull out. There is a portage. The portage will take you where you'll be dumping back in. We've just kayaked uh, this small little lake here and uh, we're now right at the end of the lake and we got to pull up. We're just getting ready to pull out of here. It's just a beautiful uh, late evening here and we're going to get ready to pull the kayak right over there. And we're going to beach right in here and you're going to go up this little trail here. It's super uh, high water. Maybe in the winter you could probably launch right here but it's just not high enough right now. Um, so you're going to be walking a little bit along this trail. So there we are, Lake Muck Muck. Yeah, it's fairly, it's not super low, but it's, uh, should be able to paddle in it. And, uh, it's, it was a good paddle up to here, but, uh, we'll see. Uh, just looking at it there and I think there's enough water to get uh, 
get through with minimal effort. Well, I'm launched already and thought I'd come up here and take one last look at Lake Mukmuk. Uh, you can see where they're going through here. Um, we'll see once I get paddling how much uh, effort it's going to take. This is quite a contrast from last year at this time. I don't know why there's so much less water in here. I usually go about this time of the year, but I don't remember it being this dry at this time of the year. So. The portage will take you where you'll be dumping back in uh, to what I call Lake Muck Muck. It is a mucky entrance and uh, hopefully uh, you have fairly high water. Um, you work your way to the end of uh, that shallow uh, pond there and then you're going to get to the beaver dams. Uh, you'll be in a little deeper water there. Those dams change from year to year. You might have to pull out. You're going to work your way down uh, probably through a second uh, beaver dam there. The channel is uh, narrow, the water flow increases and uh, then basically uh, you get into a uh, fairly narrow, uh, it's a creek and uh, you're going to work your way through the creek again. You can run into uh, logs and other obstacles on the way. Uh, you work your way through the lily, lily pads and that and into Twin Lakes. And of course uh, over to the campsite. Just starting off, I'm trying to clean my feet off here before I put it in the kayak. It's uh, quite a mucky place here. So this is basically uh, just enough water to make it through. So probably get my feet cleaned off here and make an effort to get everything on board. Running into a beaver dam up ahead here. It's fairly shallow going through here. Uh, I, I am making uh, progress here. Just enough water to be able to power through. If you're carrying a fair amount of weight, it's going to be some work around that. Uh, I'll take a look up there and just see what we're going to do. We're going to have to uh, pull out here. And I remember there's rocks up here. So. Walk around or you can just uh, carry it over the beaver dam. See what I've got up there, what I'm dealing with. Anyways, we're, we better get going here. Like I say, it's getting dark. Here's the second little flow of water right down ahead of me here. So we're going to try to get through that. something up ahead here and then I think the beaver dam's up ahead a little bit there so and we've done it Good. I'm not too sure what we got up here this could be another beaver dam that's covered and that's what it is so we're scraping over the beaver dam here and we actually went right over it. At this point, the uh, channel widens and gets uh, a little bit deeper. You're now getting into the Twin Lakes Swamp. It's fairly easy to see the deeper sections that you can navigate through. hand side it's the deeper channel and uh, you'll see the shallow spots uh, you know you'll see a little bit of grass coming up there is a channel to the right of me that will take you into a hidden section of Twin Lake if you got time it's worth the paddle in there I've actually seen elk on the edge of the lake so we're coming into uh, Twin Lake uh, campground here. There is a, uh, some campers here, and uh, they got a fire going. I see, and it's a it's a good landing here. It's clean. Uh, there are outhouses here, and uh, this will be uh, next morning the portage to Amher Lake, and it's all downhill. This chain is getting to me. 
You made a slave, I want to be set free. Are 